Well, in case you missed it, the Port City decking the halls Friday night, gearing up for Christmas. Three, two, one, whoa! Way to go! Good job! Mayor Sandy Stimson there getting some help turning on the big Christmas tree. Uh, we're told record crowds as Mardi Gras Park was turned into a winter wonderland complete with snow. You see it there. The Parks and Recreation Community Choir singing holiday favorites as well as the Mobile Ballet performing for the public. Santa Claus also making his grand entrance very popular with all the kids. Because he's going to give me presents. Have you been good? Uh-huh. What do you want for Christmas this year? A lot of presents. A lot of presents. A basketball and even more. <laughs> and it will stay this way through the new year and transform into a Mardi Gras tree just in time for carnival season. Meanwhile, the Christmas spirit arrived in downtown Fairhope the night before. We were there as the city flipped the switch to usher in the holiday season. Take a look. The sounds of the season attracting thousands to downtown Fairhope. Oh my God, there's so many people. You have a pretty good view though. I do, it's literally everywhere you look, it's never ending, the amount of people. Magic in the air along with the anticipation of Christmas cheer. I love just a Christmas spirit. It just is fun. And the lights are pretty. I like those. Did you come all the way down here from the North Pole? Yes, sir. Where's Rudolph? He's um chilling and waiting for Christmas Eve. Welcome to the tree lighting ceremony. By the looks of the crowd, I can tell this is your favorite event too. The weather is perfect tonight to kick off our holiday season. Fairhope City Council members helping flip the big switch. Three, two. You're looking at more than a million lights aglow, and oh yeah, we can't forget about all that snow. What's your favorite part? Um, the big snow and the singing, and sitting, Mrs. Claus. What about Santa? Yeah, yeah. What do you think about the turnout? Oh, I think it's fantastic. I think it's probably a record crowd. Um, I know our community has grown so much, but to see all these people out here enjoying um, this holiday season and everything is, is fantastic. <laughs> For many, it's an annual homecoming, the return of the holidays, the lights, and the picture-perfect Christmas backdrop that some argue no one does better than Fairhope. For South Alabama, absolutely not. This is the best, for sure. Honestly, it's kind of like a Hallmark movie. It's magical. It's, yeah, it's magical. I guess you could say that, too, honestly. And definitely magical out there and a special lighting ceremony set to take place tomorrow evening at 530 PM at Mobile Police Headquarters. MPD Victim Services inviting the public to come out and help light their giving tree. Chief Paul Prine will light the tree, acknowledging all victims of crime and the family members impacted. And the city of Daphne set to hold its annual tree lighting on Thursday, December 1st. That's at 6 PM at Daphne City Hall. All right, coming up, a gunman unleashes a deadly rampage on a Colorado Springs nightclub, leaving five dead. The latest on that investigation when Fox 10 News at 9 continues.